This observation led Pavlov to design an experiment to test this phenomenon. In this experiment, he first showed that dogs would salivate when food was placed in front of them, just like how we salivate when we see our dinner. Salivating towards food is an unconditioned response, or UR. This is because it is outside of an animal's control, so we don't have to do anything to elicit that response. The unconditioned stimulus, or US, is what causes the unconditioned response. In this case, that is food. Food is biologically relevant, that is, it's important to our survival, so again, you don't have to do anything to get an animal to like food. Now came the interesting part. Before giving the dogs food, Pavlov would ring a bell. So he rang a bell, and then he delivered food to the dogs, and he did this many times. After pairing these two stimuli together, he stopped delivering food. What he found was that the dogs now salivated to the sound of the bell, even in the absence of food. The bell was a neutral stimuli, or NS, at the beginning of the experiment because it didn't mean anything to the dogs. However, after repeatedly pairing or connecting the sound of the bell to the delivery of the food, the bell became a condition stimulus, or CS. Now, the condition stimulus can elicit a conditioned response, or CR, which is to salivate. These are called conditioned because you have to pair them with something meaningful before the animal will respond to them. 